Larry, what do we have here today, man? Oh, uh, dude, this is the Paul's guitar. Uh, I know you picked this up at the experience this year. Yeah. But coming up in 2019, it's going to become a, a new, another production run of this. And big news on this are the pickups that he's included in this this year. Yes. Those TCI pickups. Um, and just so that everyone knows, I, we've probably got one of the few Paul's guitars that are left in existence that have these pickups that are going to be in the 2019 yeah. models. And the only reason this is here is because I hid it in my office and I wanted it. So it's been off the website. And then I've decided that I, I never played it, by the way. It's never been played other than right here. And then I think we made another video about it earlier. I'm yep, not right sure. When, right when you got it in after the experience. But anyway, other than that, it's been in the case with this on it. It's never been, you know, very little playing and it's only been by us. But I wanted it. But... I've decided I've got like three other guitars with this color top and I want to get a different color. So you should anyway, so go we ahead with the spray paint in the back. We should do that, we man. We, we're we good at that. Right here on camera. We're, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would, that would break the internet. <laughs> but anyway, so go on, Larry, I'll let you, you know, you've, you've been excited oh, man, about this guitar. I was, and, and I started getting excited when you played it the first time, but the more things that I heard leaking out about uh, the pickups that are in here, to me, they're really a breakthrough. And I think it's going to get lost on some people that these are really a big deal in that I think Paul has, has come up with something here where you can get a true, not just usable, but a beautiful humbucking sound and a single coil sound out of one pickup without any compromises. The, the funny thing about this is I, I, I want to try to get you this drawing. We were at dinner one night, Paul and I and Jim and Paul Miles and some other people and me and Paul Reed were sitting off to the side. He's like, man, I think I got it figured out. This was a year ago, you know, and we were sitting somewhere around the factory there and, and he's like i'm going to draw this out and i'm going to show you what the deal is and then i'm going to show you and then but he's like i've not got it perfect yet but in the next year or so i'll get it so he drew this out on a napkin and he and or is actually on the corner of a you know the paper off a table <laughs> and we drew it he tore it off drew it on there and, and i said i'm going to keep that for whenever you do this i want to be one of the first ones to know about the, you know. To so say, you've got that paper? I think I've got it. Oh. We'll try to get it. It's, yeah. If we, since I moved my house <laughs> like last yeah. week, I it, I think it's in a bunch of boxes at home and I know we need to get this video out, but I'll try to find it. Oh yeah, so, that would be great. Yeah. So anyway, let's continue. I keep interrupting. Oh no. The, the, the thing that really got me about these is just in the name of the tuned capacitance and inductance. I mean, those are the two electrical properties of pickups that designers have been juggling with since pickups were invented. If you want to increase output by adding a stronger magnet or adding more turns of wire to the pickup, you increase inductance. And as the inductance increases, the pickup begins to favor lower frequencies. That's one of the major reasons a P90 or PAF will sound darker than a standard single coil. So then you start adjusting capacitance to try to tune the resonant frequency of the pickup to regain some of those high frequencies. And it's just this constant trade-off. Yeah. And whenever I heard the way he titled these, I'm thinking like, you, you got to have some guts to title it like <laughs> that. It better be good, yeah. Is that, you know, if you've cracked the alchemy behind, <laughs> you know, getting these perfect balance of these two components out of pickups, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's What really did you think cool. of it when you were playing on it? Well, the, you know, you're talking about the PAF thing and all that. And, and whenever I was up here, you know, in this, in the, in the neck pickup, I noticed that it's like. You know, the idea, I think, was to not lose the glassiness of a single coil, you know, like the high end. But it's, it's. It's a lot more robust in the low end to me. It's almost like where you were saying, kind of took out the PAF of the humbucker mm -hmm. and try to add a little of the P90 idea. It's almost like there's some P90-ish in the single coil as well, you know, cause it's got that round low end that kind of helps. I don't know, to me, it almost makes me feel like it's gonna make bad amps sound good. You know what I mean? It probably will. Thin amps sound good, you know what I mean? 
That was the, the thing yeah. that I noticed in that too, because uh, you know the silver skies as well as you know the pickups from other brands that were used to the single coils. Yeah, they really have part of their signature is that dip in the low mids around 400 hertz, and you know some of the t samples I took on this man, it is. It's like flat from a hundred. Oh, you did like spectrum oh, sample? Yeah, yeah. I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted awesome. to see what he got into on this. Wow, you might uh, be getting a phone call from him. <laughs> yeah, that's cool though, man. Yeah, but it's it really uh, the frequency response on the low end is really flat on these, and uh, you probably noticed too they're not noisy. Yeah, oh no. Even in a, even in a single coil mode. Yeah, listen. Yeah. That's nothing up to a normal single and that's extremely yeah. high gain through a tc50 mesa on channel three okay yeah yeah that's so, what we're talking there yeah so i mean it's cool yeah it's very i cool. mean it's basically it's noiseless almost uh and from what i measure i mean i can't measure this exactly but there is like a 66 decibel to noise floor on this incredible that's amazing um, you know, and the thing, one of the things that came in my head whenever I was just in here playing around with this is it, it seems like the, the guitarist's holy grail that they're looking for is, oh, give me a pickup so I can uh, get rid of my Les Paul with humbuckers and my Stratocaster and do it all out of one yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't found that breakthrough yet, I don't believe. Yeah. But to me, you've got something here where, you know, if you are a, a soap bar player, if you somebody who likes P90s, this, especially on... I mean, it's... It's got that. It's got it. Yeah, rich <laughs> and bi... And still hold some of that chime from yeah. the single coil in there. It's just uh, <laughs> it's just a, a great, great sound on here. This is truly one of my favorite guitars that you've ever got from him. Yeah. I love the way this feels. This particular guitar is so perfectly balanced. And like you said, it, it does feel a little bit lighter in yeah. the body. I know he was very conscious of weight on here, and that's why he went with the aluminum wraparound bridge with the brass inserts on here, uh, so that he could help reduce the weight a little bit. Um, everything, everything works really, really nicely on here. I'm gonna actually look up while you play a little bit the weight on this thing. you know that that rich low end yeah, there yeah it's it's un it's unmistakable i mean i don't know if you can hear it in the video but it's 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 different than any other tappable coil tappable guitar i mean it's there oh, it definitely is it's got I mean, it. it if it made me think you know when i was playing on this that you, we kind of get jaded over these two <laughs> sounds. And we've yeah. got, you know, we've got this one, you know, humbucking sound. We've heard, you know, growing up, we hear it on everything yeah, yeah. almost. 
Same way with the single chorus. And there's a lot of other sounds out yeah. there. And I'm so glad that Paul is, you know, doing that. And he actually, you know, his little playground of innovation <laughs> yeah. in his guitar here, yeah. he makes it available to us. Yeah. I think that's really cool. It is cool. And, you know, the his amps are kind of dialed into this guitar a lot. You know, oh, really? I mean, if you, if you, there was a, a while there where a lot of the amps were sounding the same. You know, now they've got the Archon, the Tremonti, they've got the Mayer amp, um, the Sanzera. They all, they're, they're all, they've all got their place now. There for a while, a lot of the guitar, the amps were sounding a lot alike. They had their things, but mm -hmm. a lot of time, and, and to me, they sounded a lot like what Paul sounds like on stage. You know what I mean? With his Paul's guitar, whatever, you know, and the setup that he likes. And, but, you know, it's a good sound. It's like that third tone that nobody's like diving into because you've got, like you said, the humbucker, yeah, the single sure. coil. And I'm not saying just Paul's tone is the only other tone out there, but I'm saying it's a pretty definitive sound what you can get with this thing. And it may just be that, you know oh, what yeah. I mean, where it's that I mean, special. I thought it took a little bit of courage to put this, you know, out as, you know, kind of your, your flagship pickup in your guitar with yeah. your name on it. And the sounds are gorgeous that you get out of it. It yep. is a little bit different than what you're used to hearing, but I love it. Yeah, yeah. So, love it, man. I'm glad you wanted to do this video with me. Oh, man, thank you for asking but we do have these coming in when the, when the 2019 production run comes in. Uh, we will have, I'm sure, several of these guitars yeah. available. And the cool thing about it is if you're wanting a truly special guitar, this has a zero cote, zero cote fretboard. The production run is going to be Honduran Rosewood, is that right? Yeah. So it'll be the kind of the standard fretboard wood that, that PRS has put in a lot of their guitars. This one is special, and this was one of, I think, a hundred made. Yep. And it's, she's right. back on the market, boys. And ladies, she, he's back on the market. Not Larry, <laughs> the guitar. Yes. But, uh, Don't tell Karen. Uh, no, I know. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so this is Larry. Shows you how badass we are whenever our camera guy can play like he does. He's one of the best in the, in the building. And uh, I'm Brett. I'm the lowly scum of the owner. Shit. <laughs> that, that, that I get to have a lot of fun because these people make it, uh, make it, uh, what don't am I say it. To say? I don't, I was, I'm trying to clean it up. Make it possible for me to do. So thank you everyone for watching. This is the Paul's guitar, um, new for two, 2019 with the great new TCI pickup system in it. And, uh, and Check us out at moreguitars.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like it. Make a comment if there's any more info you need. You can email, chat, or call Rob or anybody here at the store. Moreguitars.com. Thanks.